announcing its work times. We welcome our pastor, Sir Celestine Williamson, to bring the Lord of God. Stand to receive what we Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is March Madness. Hallelujah. This is going to be an awesome March awesome. Madness family and friends day then. Yes, of See course. that it already been declared in the atmosphere. And so we thank God for all you who press, who push your way yes, yes, yes. to be a part of our celebration today. Yes. I want to give God thanks for each and every one of you who are here. And so you'll find me this morning in the book of St. Matthew chapter 8. St. Matthew chapter 8. Beginning at verse 1. And it reads thus. When he came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Uh -huh. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. Immediately, he was cured of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, see that you don't tell anyone. But go, show yourself to the priest and, after, and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Mm -hmm. And then I want to take a little portion of Mark chapter one. That's one verse I'm gonna read. Instead, he went out and began to talk freely, spreading the news. As a result, Jesus could no longer enter a town openly, but stayed outside in lonely places. Yet, the people still came to him from everywhere. Let us pray. Father, I give you thanks and praise this morning for your faithfulness. Yes. As an instrument in your hand this morning, Lord, use me to bring glory and honor to your name. Lord, let the words of my mouth. As it go forth this morning, Lord, let it fall on good soil. Let it bring forth fruit in this season. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I have chosen for a topic today, it won't let me be silent. Mm -hmm. for real. It, whatever your it is this morning, it won't let me be silent. And Mark 145 is my key voice. It said, instead, he went out and began to talk freely, spreading the news. As a result, Jesus could no longer enter a town openly, but stay outside and lonely places, yet the people still came to him from everywhere. The story today is about a leper who defies all odds and waited on Jesus for a touch. Yes. How badly do you need a touch from the Lord today? The Bible says in Matthew chapter five that when Jesus saw the crowds, then he went up to a mountainside and sat down. And he began to teach them the Beatitudes, which we call them attitudes to be. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger. Blessed are the wasteful, and so forth. You know the Beatitudes. But he also taught them many parables while he was on the mountainside. He taught them about the parable of the salt and the light, about the law, taught them about anger and lust and divorce, taught them about retaliation and loving your enemies, which is a hard one, fasting and so forth. So it wasn't no hit and run message yet. He was teaching them. Jesus was teaching them and showing them how to live a fruitful life, how to live a long life. So there wasn't no short time. So all the while during that time he was ministering to the crowd, a desperate situation was taking place down the mountainside. The Bible says there was a man who was desperately desperate. 
The Bible never gave us his name, but told us his condition. Now watch this now. Jesus and the crowd went up to the mountain. So wherever there's a mountain, there got to be a valley. Wherever there's a mountain, there got to be a valley. Now, that valley represents all the low-down situation that can happen in your life. The valley can represent where people tend to look down at you, spit on you, talk about you, walk all over you, lie on you, even cheat on you. And the most important one they try to do is destroy you. But when you're in the valley, shame comes to take up residence near you, Pastor, and in you. And you have to cover it up for fear of being exposed. Mm -hmm. So when you're in the valley, watch this now. You are not called by your name, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Many in the valley don't call it by your name, mm -hmm. but by your condition. My Lord. He was a leper. The Bible never gave us his name. It just said a man with leprosy mm -hmm. waited. In the valley, you have a name they calling you by. Pastor, when you're not down situation. Oh, Jesus, sweetheart. <laughs> they don't say your name. They say your condition. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. he's a liar. They don't call your name. They call your condition. Oh, she don't know nothing. She's a witch. They can call your name. You're in the valley. They can call your condition. The Bible said there was a man who had leprosy. All they said that he was a leper. Mm. That's when you're in the body, Pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your condition plays a major role in being who you are. Mm -hmm. And so all he had to do was cover up that situation. And that's what we tend to do, Pastor. Because when you're in the body, if you're a sweet eye, you're coming out at night. Jesus. You can cover up that relationship. When you cheat it, Pastor, but nobody can know you can hide all the evidence. Mm -hmm. You can cover it up. That's what you do in the body. You cover up. And so he was there in the body because the crowd went up and he couldn't go. So he stayed down. But how can a lot a leper be among people and not be seen? He had to be in cover up because you're full of sores. And so he had on his long sleeve, he had on his hoodie, and he sat right among them. I know what you. So this man had a condition. And he was unable to go up to the mountain with the crowd for fear of them recognizing him. Mm. When you're in the valley, that situation called exposure, baby, you can cover it up. Ain't nobody know you're doing this. Ain't nobody know you're doing that because you're covering it up. Mm. No one recognized him. No one even run or no one even was scattered from his presence. He fit right in with those who couldn't go up. And mind you, misery like company because not only him was in the valley, there were some other people who couldn't go up who had to stay down in the valley. What are you covering up today? Your condition? Hmm. He was a leper, but he had a name. Nobody was calling him by his name. Let's say he named John. Everybody's saying John the leper. They call him leper. In the valley of a name, but nobody calling you that. They will call you, or oh, like I said, you're so sweet eye, you cover that up. Or she's a thief, you try to cover that up. Or she's a liar, you try to cover that up. Or he's a witch, you try to cover that up. The condition they call you by, keep you where you are. But this man defied all odds, Pastor. All odds. He couldn't go up to the mountain. So what did he do? He sat down in the valley and waited. What are you covering today? But of course, you can't go up to where Jesus is. Mm. Leprosy like AIDS today was a terrifying disease because no, there's no new cure for leprosy. Once you contract the deadly disease, you are considered an outcast. You are not able to dwell among your family or your friends. In fact, Pastor, the enemy is doing more being near you because if you have leprosy, I your enemy. I don't want to catch that. I don't want to catch that. I didn't get near you. The disease is so deadly that they have to live in a community where other lepers live until you either get better or you die. Now watch this now. This leper, he dared to be different because he came out from the community pastor to where he knew Jesus was. He was desperate for a touch. Desperate situation called for 
desperate action. I don't care what it is, Father. Because if you're desperate, people say, man, there's a way. There's a way. You want to find out. If you're a you'll find that to do it. Because you want results. So he moved from all of the community. He was desperate. He didn't let his condition confine him to living the rest of his life like that. I don't care what it is. I can stay like this. Shut in. Outcast. Banished. Rejected. Afflicted. He wanted to be healed. Yes, yes. He wanted to get back to his family and friends like here today. The Bible never tells how he contracted leprosy. But it told us what he did. He was desperate for a touch, so he laid it until Jesus came down from the mountainside. God is a God of the mountain. And he's a God of the valley. He meets you, that's where you are. How badly do you want to be cleansed from your condition today? I don't know what your it is. But how badly do you want to be cleansed from your condition? Do continue covering it up. Do cover up that situation where you know I can only come when I'd like to see you. Stop covering it up. You gotta come out from out that community. Don't cover up that situation where you know you can't afford living how you live living, so you're working three and four and ten jobs just to fit in. Come on from my community. How badly do you want to be cleansed from your condition? You can't let it keep covering up. And come, because once you cover it up, you can stay just like that. You have to want to be free from the covering up, Pastor, and seek to come from among those who are affected. You got to stop living in your communities that's afflicted with that condition that caused you to be secluded. I know over there. You know they have AIDS camp. I want part of it when when they when they contracted the, the what we have lately the pandemic what we have the virus uh-huh. just secluded all of them they're full of virus you all going there there COVID when you had COVID everybody uh, they, they put you in the, all y'all together but so you can't leave from there until you get healed mm-hmm. or tell the virus either you're dead or you can get healed mm-hmm. you have to want to be free you can't let your situation come find you to stand over here where everybody else is like-minded and your misery like company. So if all of us have it, you have to want in your mind one day, oh boy, I can stay like this. I can stay like this, Pastor. You know what I mean? You got to let your condition keep you here. You got to my God want to go over here if only just to have a little bit of peace. But some of us contented, contented wherever we are, I'll stay right here. I get company, but baby, that ain't me, Pastor. No doubt. That ain't me, cause I, I, if you if you afflicted, I, I don't think I should stay here. No, I think I should be over here where I can go and and really be free. That's right. But some of us, our minds, well, it, it, it takes over our everything, and we stay. That's who I can tell it, man. I well, but anybody want me, so I and I might just say that's like this. Uh, um, anybody like to talk to me, so I might just keep on myself and uh, oh no, the devil is alive. The hell he want to come in because he know he done just fine for hell. He want you all to join him there. The hell was him made for us. It was made for the devil and his angels. So you should want desire to stay in sin. It wasn't just, even though we were straight and born, you don't have to stay there. You have to want a mindset, boy, you got to be life after this, man. got to be something better than this. I can't stay like this, man. I, I got to come up from among those who are afflicted. Once I write a pen, these words, I'm desperate for you. I'm hungry for you. I'm lost without you. Yes, yes. I need your touch. Thank you. I need your presence. Real. You got to want to be desperate enough to get into the presence of God. He was desperate for God's presence. So, and he needed a touch. Mm-hmm. Your situation today may cause you not to be able to go up in the crowd. So you have to wait until Jesus come down to you. And he will be right on time because he's an on time God. And the thing about it, what I like about it, he never died waiting. So it's nothing wrong with waiting. Oh, I got um, 40, boy, I ain't nobody marry me yet. Wait! Mm. <laughs> oh, um, I got 30 and I ain't have a child yet. Wait! There's nothing wrong with waiting. We say the song, I will wait on you. Yes, sir. I will wait on my time. 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 I will wait on my I will trust in you. Yes, yes. I will remain confident in this. Yes, I can see the goodness, but you got to wait. Yes, it ain't coming to you. 
uh, God, now, um, I, I don't tell you, and then you all bless me. And what, 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 what happened now? I, I need to go. Uh, everybody else got, even my enemies being bad, but what wrong? And don't last. The Bible says every is flourish for a season. If you keep looking at your enemy, they have a time that they can dry right up. I don't rush, Pastor. I wait. I sit down and I say, God is in your hand. I can stay right here and I can wait on you. I know you have something in, in store for me. And so now the left up. He waited. He waited. He positioned himself in the pathway for the master to see him on his way down. Remember now, Jesus was on the mountain. And the point was for him going up there is because there were so many people in order to minister and see everybody he had to go up to look down. And this level he knew, you go up, you rather come down. I can position myself right here when you're coming down. Where are you positioned today? Can the master see you on his way down? Desperate situation called for desperate move. So the Bible said that when Jesus was coming down, that he then he knelt down and begged and pleaded, Lord, if you are willing, he said, you can make me clean. But how did he know that? How did he know that? He could have been in a crowd to see Jesus perform no miracles. He no one was coming to the Catholic tell you there's a healer in town. So how did you know, Lord, if you are willing, you can do this? He had never seen. He was an outcast. He was banished. So you couldn't have seen the miracle that performed and no one was going to the Catholic to tell you nothing. His faith passed up. His faith went to work for him. All of us have that. We have to learn to use our faith. We got to put our faith to work for what we want when we don't have what we want. That's right. He wanted good health, Pastor. He wanted to be healed. So he waited until Jesus came down because his circumstances didn't allow him to go up. So while he waited, I don't know if y'all know this song by Elevation song. It said, Wait on the Lord. It said, I don't believe in fairy tales. I guess I've outgrown them. But it doesn't mean that I don't believe that there's something bigger than me. Because I've seen it in the hospital room where the doctor says, sorry, there's nothing more that we can do. <laughs> well, it wasn't true. I've never seen a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. But I've got a promise that I can hold on in the middle of my struggle. God, if you said it, you will perform it. It may not be how I want you to, but here's what I'll do. I'm going to wait. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to wait on you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to wait on you because I've tasted your goodness. I trust in your promise. So I'm going to wait on you. Mm -hmm. Then he goes on to finish saying, like, this is what the, the, the leper said at the bottom of the body. He said, I know you've ordered every step. Yeah, you are the author. And there's no prediction of what is next. Because you hold the future and all the question, they come second to the one that I know is true. You've always been true. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on you. I've tasted your goodness. I trust in your promise. And I'm going to wait on you. Yes, yes. I'm going to wait. That's what the leper did. The leper positioned himself in the body to wait, even though he didn't have a name. Only a condition. When you're in a fiction body, one songwriter said, and you're training your role of care, my Savior helps me to carry my cross when it's heavy to bear, Pastor. So even though my feet are being tangled with briars and ready to cast me down, my Savior whispers his promise. I will never leave you alone. So I can imagine the angels at the time, the man in the body. And so the angel still, because he's sitting in that position. I can wait on you, God. I can die. I can wait. And so let me learn to wait. Things happen in your way. And so while that song he was singing, I can wait on you, Lord, the angels came by and the angels that came over to him and whispered and say, just wait on the Lord. Say, and he can mount up on wings like an eagle. He said, the, 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 the one, even though you may walk, you will be weary. You may run, but don't faint. Wait on the Lord. You will whisper to him. 
wait on the Lord, we have to learn to wait. And things happen when you wait. Yes, yes. Because the leper decided to, I'm going to wait on the Lord. His deliverance came because Jesus came out and recognized him. Jesus went straight to him. When Jesus met him, he said, Lord, if you are willing, if you are willing, you can make me clean. If you are willing, this morning some of you might be asking, Lord, if you're willing, you can make me whole. You can make me whole. And so, what did Jesus do to the man who had no name? Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. That's action, Pastor. Because faith moves the hand of God. Lord, if you're willing, you can make me clean. Jesus didn't answer him first. Jesus did action. Jesus did this. Then Jesus said, I am willing. You have to have the faith. Faith moves the hand of God. Lord, if you're willing, you can make me clean. I am willing. He did his action before he answered him. When we in situations that God let me ask God something. I tell y'all, I went to, like, but it's not two weeks later, I went to the doctor. And so, I went to the doctor, I went to do a whole physical to, to the NHI. And so, when I left the doctor, like I mean, I tell you what they tell me. I said, oh, your thyroid um, looks swollen. I look at my neck, I kind of say, ain't nothing wrong with my neck, right? So, I sat there. Get all the blood work, send a test out. Test come back, say they see something. The glands are swollen. So when I went to the doctor on Friday, he told me, said, um, um, we see a little mass on your throat. I said, yeah, that's what you'll see. So he said, um, what we got to do for you now, because of my right gland, he said, we have to let you go do some radio, because it's in the radiology. I said, well, what's gonna happen? So I said, I have to go to the TNL. He said, no, you don't have to go to Tiana. He said, we're going to dead in that area. So we're in the office, stick a needle through that, pull out something and send it off to be tested. So he said, um, I, I guess sit in the chair. That's like this. We talking, I read it, looking at him, because this, this day I got looking at him like this. I was there. Yeah. I said, okay. So he said, any question? I said, no, I don't have no question. I said, when this thing happened, he said, well, you have to make an appointment. I said, okay, but they don't make the appointment. And because as far as I can say, Pastor, I didn't, I already had this message pre prepared. The minute I come on that chair, God, please, with this holy conversation, mm -hmm. I walk into my car. I said, Lord, mm -hmm. if you are willing, yeah. I didn't even preach the message yet. I said, you can heal me. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. I walk into the chair. I said, you don't know any wrong with me. I said, no, I know I have a relationship with and all I did was walk to my car with my bag in my hand. I said, Lord, if you are willing, yes. you can heal me oh, from this thyroid situation. Oh, yes. I said, walk with authority. Go on to work and sit down. And so my boss yes. look at me say, everything. I said, everything okay? What else a report I can give? It is well. Yes. I can't say the enemy say, oh, you're upset and lazy. What my stage today? But he didn't make it. He didn't, it wasn't scary. He said, it's a small little. I said, small? <laughs> that's what I, I said, small. Yeah, you see that's something? Right, that's right. He said, right there. He said, when I stick you there, I mean, that's going to draw something and send it to me. I said, well, nothing. Because I said, but I must not know who I am. Hey. Because see, when the Bible tells me, oh. many are the affliction yeah. of the righteous, yeah. said I know God has something in store for me because you only get afflicted if you're righteous. Yeah. Yeah. Many. Yeah. I, so I took that story. I walked. I said, Lord, just like that. If you are willing. That's right. And you know what he said to me? As clean as they I am. Oh, Jesus, I'm blessed. I ain't gonna blow up right that car. All he said, I, I am with him. I left that car on there, come on there, and say, Jesus, you, you just messed me right up. That's what I said. Yeah, you yeah. just messed me right up because I asked. And before he didn't even touch me, but he answered. But with the leper, he touched the leper first and then said, I am with him. But when I asked him, he said, I am. We gotta put our faith to work. We gotta let situation put us down in the valley because. In the valley, you have no name but a condition. Oh I was determined not to stay in the valley. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was determined to come. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I ain't to be in that community. Mm -hmm. That's a flick chain over there. Mm -hmm. I am healed. That's right. And all I said, oh, 
Jesus. Uh -huh. See, that enemy look like at me and said, I want anything good. Yeah, that's not right. No, because I tell God, yeah. I tell my eyes, but I pray to God, I say, God, anytime you won't get glory of me, you let me go to a situation. Because my message entitled, it won't let me be silent. You know when I result come back, I need a mic, right? I need a mic to tell you, ain't nothing wrong with me. I gotta let the leopard come keep the news to himself. Make sure I want to go to the priest. Go show you something. Let the priest declare you whole before you go all among them. And he ain't sending me to no priest. The Lord, I am blamed. I just need a microphone. And I need to get out there and tell you, you gotta put your faith and trust in God. Let me sign that song this morning. I'll wait on you. Right. I will God. trust in you. Right. I will remain confident. Because I can see the goodness of the Lord. I go, wait, Pastor. Yes, I go to share a lift. They ain't even no appointment yet. Boy, what am I doing? I go, wait right here. Yes. I go, wait. Because I have no fear. I have no nothing to worry about to say. You're tired, right? And the thing about it, he said, you're tired, really? No, this is a very important organ. They control the, of course you put on weight, of course you lose weight, of course you have pressure, they can't head down. This, uh, this little gland in here controls the whole body. Tell the body, oh, you can do this, you can do that. So I say, body, gland, look the line up. Yeah. Because there's a name that's above your name. Right. And at the name of Jesus, gland, you better come in to do the way of God. God said you to keep this body in control, you better do that. Mm -hmm. I have to speak to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't let that speak to me because yeah. I'm telling you, oh girl, you can get fat. Mm. Girl, you can lose oh, weight. Right. Girl, you got the devil is and I, I tell the clan what to do. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I can't let the clan tell me, oh, you gotta do it. Oh no, 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 clan. Then God say, He made it. He said, it is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He didn't say I can make you with some sickness no, 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 or make no, you with death. No, no. He said, Oh, it is good. Not so not why do I want the client to tell me to tell somebody? Y'all they say something wrong. The devil is saying, I ain't nothing wrong with me. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Because yeah. I ain't staying in the body. No. Because in the body you have no name. You have a condition. And your condition will keep you there. You let it. When the leper defied all odds, the leper said, I ain't gonna stay with this leprosy. I coming out from among you all. I got to get healed. That's right. Whatever your condition is today, I don't know. But don't let it keep you in the body. Come out so you can be healed. You need, a, you need God to, to strengthen you. His word say you're strengthened. You need God to deliver you. His word say you're delivered. Because you can say, Lord, if you're willing, God ain't weak. God say I'm willing. Be thou strengthened. God, if you're willing, I need to be delivered. I am willing, be thou delivered. Whatever your it is, your situation that costs you this one, stay there. Talk to God. Yeah. Defy all or and come out. He waited. And like I say, he waited. And the Bible never said he died while waiting. Mm -hmm. He was cleansed. And then he got clean from his situation. Man, he break off running. He let the woman out the way out. Come see a man. Who told me all things? She can she can keep and she had her own husband. She can live up. She went there and go five of them. She went to all to almost the hill, the whole town, and she didn't keep that a secret. She said, "Run, come see. Go him a walk. You better come because he may be going someplace up after. Run, come see. Your condition. Tell someone, run, come see. Run, come see. Run, come see. It won't let me be silent. That's right. And so if you stay in that situation where you won't be." Maybe the enemy right there. Shame right there. And see, the Bible said what, what David said in the psalm. He said, when my enemies and my foes, see, they like company. If you're thinking only she ain't coming, she ain't coming with embarrassment. And embarrassment bringing along frustration. Yeah. And frustration bringing along worry. Takes tied up on you. Mm -hmm. You can't let the enemy play tight team on you. Yeah. You have angels assigned to you. That's right. You have to use your authority. That's right. Yes, I take authority over it. I bought it any morning. You should see me try and make it on my face this morning. I said, "Why neck, you look so good. Mm -hmm. I say, nothing wrong with you. I, but the enemy say, oh yeah, they tell me they see a little I said, that's what you say. I said, whose report you can believe? That's right. I said, I can believe the report. Look, I am healed. That's the word, that's you got to talk to yourself. Never say you got to encourage yourself. 
You can't stay in the valley. In the valley is no name, no condition. And I refuse to let any situation keep you, the people of God, in that situation because he told me to tell you, I've got to feel everything. Right. It's going to be all right, man of God. So go on. Everything. You have no need to worry, John F. You're healed. You have no need to worry. God told me to tell you everything is going to be all right. Yes, yes. You, have no, you ain't in the body no more. Because you know why? You position yourself for Jesus to see you. And when he sees you, I am the name. Stand to your feet for me this morning. I don't know what your situation is. I didn't even reach the half of my message, but I'm so excited about that. You can't let the it. I don't know what the it is. You might be, uh, you know, we have all kinds of things. We have financial it's. We have relationship it's. We have sickness it's. Whatever your it is this morning, I don't need to know, but Jesus wants to touch you. And if you want your it to cause you to stay down, then you don't have to come up. But if you want your it, like I say, my message is entitled, it won't let me keep silent. You got to tell it. He couldn't keep his deliverance, his healing to himself. He spread the news. And through you spreading the news, it's like our famous saying, that's how we overcome. By the blood and the word of our testimony. If anybody have an it situation, I don't need to know. Jesus wants it. He wants to touch you. You can come up here this morning. You can come up here and we'll pray for you. We'll anoint you. Because after that, that won't let you keep silent. You're going to break up running. You can tell everyone, come see a man. Like how I'm waiting. I can tell you all. You all can have my report. Yes. It is well. It is well. I can decree it in the atmosphere. It is well. It don't happen for him again. See the thing about it. When God wants to do something, let something form so you give him praise and glory. Because that's what he tells him. The devil, when he's looking at at and Job is having even sitting my servant. Yeah. Then Job wasn't doing nothing. Oh, I was right. What was wrong with me? You see, Celeste, you, you, you all go check out lately. Oh, I think I better go check Celeste out. And I go to God. You want some glory today? Yeah. Okay, you can get another glory. I said, because when you come with all your affliction, I up my praise. Oh, I started saying, I'm going to wait on you. That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's what happens when you wait. Deliverance takes place. That's what happens when you wait. Healing takes place. That's what happens when you wait. Yes. The Lord shows up and he delivers. That's right. That's Things right. happen when you wait. Wait on the Lord. Mm. And when we wait, yes. the enemy says, yes. when you're in the fiction body, God says, I ain't going to leave you. Mm. God wants to show himself strong in your behalf. It won't let me keep silent. Anyone he wants, the Lord's touch this morning. To overcome anything. Anyone. I don't have to know. But I'm willing to stand proxy for you. Make right. sure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ministers, it won't let me be silent. God is able. God is able. He said, I am willing. That's the word for you. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And this morning, God answer to you is I am willing. He is willing. Hallelujah. 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 God is the people of God. God is good. No more body situations here. No more body situations. You have a name, Savon. John, if you have a name, Lucia, Sophie, you have a name, Delma, Daniqua, Maria, Leslie, Joy, Bruce, Lisa, you have a name. You don't have a condition, Freddie, Beretta, you have a name. What's your name there? Portia, you have a name. I know you. Deja, you have a name. You don't have a condition. And so you're not going to be in the valley. No one can call you whatever you, they, they think you have. You have a name. You have a deliverance this morning. God said to tell you, I am willing. And when you walk out from here today, that situation will no longer be attacked because you're no longer in the valley. You can be called by your name. 
And I call all your names that committed up to God. All of them have been anointed, Pastor. Leslie, you've been anointed? No. Leslie. Father, in the name of Jesus, God lift your hand up. Like the leper, he asks, Lord, if you are willing. And Lord, you reach out and touch him before you answer. And so this morning, Father, you see them. You know their names. And Lord, you told me to tell them, I am willing. Lord, we thank you even now, Lord, because whatsoever things we desire when we pray, Father God, you say we will have it. And so we know, Lord, of those weapons that try to form to cause us to stay in the body, Lord, we are no longer looking down. We are lifting up our eyes unto you because you are where our help is coming from. And so we thank you, Lord, for us. We position ourselves for you to see us this morning. We ask for your touch. We ask for the touch. 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 Lord, we receive your touch this morning. We receive your touch this morning. And your words that we are healed, we are delivered, we are set free. And so we give you thanks, we give you praise, Lord, because you deserve it, Lord. You've been so good to us, Lord. You call us by our name. And because you call us, Lord, we receive the victory today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You have the victory. No longer body situation. No longer body situation. You are now seated in heavenly places because God is faithful. God is faithful. God is a faithful God. And because of his faithfulness, your condition, he have on you, his mind, and you've already done it because you ask. You can't ask for nothing he got. So the lepers say, Lord, if you're willing. And the Lord say, I am. Whatever your it is this morning, God say, I am willing and I've done it. You got the victory in Jesus' name. You can go back to your seat. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.